Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I bought this to try because a lot of people had spoken about it. It's really reasonable. It's a company called Crichton's. A couple of pounds, like two or three pounds. They do lots of salicylic acid products and this was the foaming clay cleanser. It's salicylic acid, lactic acid and white clay. So you put it on as a clay and then you activate the foam and then you wash it off. Now, we will demonstrate it on Alan because he said I'm allowed to. We're not going to go down the neck because he's got his good t-shirt on and also he's got his beard so it's, um, I won't show me removing it because it will take forever. But we can show the application and how it feels when you're foaming it up and also how it feels after removal. Um, I think knowing that you can get products like this is very handy because quite often salicylic acid products are really expensive and clay cleansers can be drying so we'll try it out and see how we go. And also, life being life, i just got a tiny little breakout here. So using the clay and the salicylic should also help that too. So let's apply it and see how we get on. Okay, so I'm left-handed, so I'll do this a wee bit back to front. Apologies for that. Um, apply a little bit to the back of my hand. And so that's it. And it feels very smooth, feels nice and cooling. You can tell there's clay in there, but it doesn't feel dry. So we'll start to apply it now. So again, I would normally go down the neck, but we won't do that for today. And I'll be quite careful where I put it. You know, if you were doing it in real time for yourself or in a treatment, you would cover more of an area, but this is just to give us a little idea. So I can tell you, you don't need a lot. You're just putting a thin amount on. As they always say, if you put a really thick amount on, it means that you're essentially wasting product because it's only really what's touching the skin that's doing the work. And I'm only using one finger here just to be extra careful because we're doing it on camera. But when you're doing it for yourself, you'll be, you know yourself, you'll be slapping it on. And if you're doing it in a treatment, you might be using some sort of brush. So my theory, my guess is that the clay is doing its thing whilst you're applying it. So this clay will already be starting to Activate and do its thing. Work down the nose. I'm just being mindful not to go too near the eyes or anywhere like that. But when you're working on yourself, you'll know to be careful. And I've got quite a lot out of that bit. Not quite enough to do the full face, but not bad. So just do a little bit more. So for a few pounds, this seems like very good value. But again, we'll see how it feels to activate. If it will go very foamy or quite subtle. Is it easy to remove? Right, so that isn't too much at all. Now I'm guessing once you've got it on, it's not like a mask where you have to leave it. So you can just start activating it with the water. It's got a very neutral scent. It just smells like a clay mask. It doesn't smell like it's got anything extra in it. So that might be good if you don't like things to be heavily perfumed. I'll just grab some water. And I've just got a bowl of water here. So now let's start to work in circles and see. Now you can hear, it sounds like it's foaming. Now you'd be at the sink doing this. So you could really get in there with the water and really do this. For a demo, it's probably a little bit messier. But that feels nice, it feels very soft. It feels gentle, it's not a big foam. It feels very pleasant. I wasn't sure if it would go really foamy, like as if there was an obvious ingredient in it that just made it go extremely bubbles and foam, but not at all. That's very gentle. much more subtle than I thought it would be. 
So what I'll do now is I'll loosen this off. I'll remove it. That'll take a bit of time because we've got the facial hair too. So I'll just take my time removing this and then we'll see how the skin feels. Right, so that's us removed it. It wasn't too difficult. Just um, when you've got any facial hair and it's a mask, it can take a little bit of time. Skin feels lovely and soft. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel as if it's in desperate need of the next product, which can sometimes happen. And we've got a little breakout here. So the salicylic acid and the clay and also the lactic acid, they'll all have helped together to treat that. It's also good to know that it didn't irritate it because sometimes when you use a clay product, it can actually feel as if it's slowing down the healing because it's almost sticking to the blemish while it's trying to heal. Have you ever had that where you try to remove a mask from the blemish and it almost sort of takes part of it away? Sometimes it can bleed or you can basically feel as if you're setting it back a little bit. None of that at all. So all we need to do, or all you would need to do, is continue on after your cleanser with your chosen products. But the skin feels very nice. It feels hydrated. Doesn't feel as if it's too harsh. I think for a few pounds, this salicylic acid clay cleanser is, it's a good punt if you want to try it, if you know that you would like to have something like this in your collection, you don't need to use it every day it's very good value. As I say, quite often salicylic acid products are very expensive. So to know that there's something here which is easily accessible on High Street and not expensive, I think Crichton's have done a nice job. So I hope you found that useful. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.